It's become a set fact. At each Vendée Globe's edition and for the village's inauguration, it rains. Which doesn't prevent, in a very well-established ritual, the ribbon to be cut, bringing the most mythical solitary sail race to enter its ultimate phase preceding its start. You can only be satisfied in spite of the weather. It doesn't interfere with the visit of the village. Salute the skippers and their teams on the pontoons. So yes, rain there is, but it won't deprive us of the joy to open the village. It did take a while for the long procession to cover the 25,000 square feet of the official village, an exceptional setting to match the ever-growing media and popular fervor. On the pontoons, skippers don't champ at the bit. On the contrary, they too, in their own way, want to make the best out of the last three weeks before the start. To be a celebrity for three weeks is quite nice, and then we will we'll leave and there'll be no one. I'm really impressed by the crowd because you've got to realize this is only the first day. I'm very anxious to get going, but I have three more weeks here, so I've got to be patient. This is great to live. Yet another example of happy endings. We believed a long time that for some, participation was compromised. For example, Jean Le Cam, who had to fiercely fight for long, unending months to find the financement. Obviously for him, it's already a victory to be here. Well, that's for sure. For us to be here? Well, it's just playing great, because it's been over a year, and we were sort of uncertain, to say the least. And then things fell into place a little hurriedly. I'd say this is part of the project's interest. The standard, the standard is sort of crabbed, so to speak. Crabbed, the word reaches new meaning in Jean Le Cam's mouth. He is the youngest participant ever in the history of the Vendée Globe. First participation for the Swiss, Alan Rura, who is, how could we put it, starry-eyed? This is the start of a beautiful adventure. It's also the beginning of a dream come true. I'm proud to be here. It's true, the project didn't start back that long ago. And to find myself here after 10 months of work on the boat and on the project, it's wonderful. So everything's set to serenely reach November 6th, the departure date of the Vendée Globe's 8th edition. While no one's over anxious yet to see them off. Yes, I'm impatient, but then again, no. The Vendée Globe is such a strong event, I enjoy the before the start play. After it all goes too fast, gotta hold up the time. To wrap it up, it's among a huge crowd shouting from the rain that the Vendée Globe skippers lent themselves to the official photo ritual.